Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Tech Bag. So today we're gonna look at how do uh, one can start with ECBA preparation and get certified as a entry certification in business analysis. So if you are a business analyst and want to uh, understand all the concept of Babok guide, I'm starting the whole uh, sessions from now, uh, creating in parts to explain you all the uh, concepts in detail and would help you to uh, also when you are preparing for ECBA would help all those and when you can go through all the parts from one till end. So stay tuned with me and learn along with tech bag and let's get started. So the Babok guide uh, has uh, basically is a standard book which is uh, basically has a right of IIBA. So International Institute of uh, business analysis uh, business analysis has uh, has a certification called entry certification in business analysis so that certification uh, is the entry certification for any business analyst to get certified in that role the eligibility for that to be uh, <clears throat> writing a certification or getting a certification is uh, you don't need to have any prior experience uh, to get that particular certification enrolled but we should have a minimum of 21 hours professional development uh, get in uh, that you have understood all the PA concepts uh, from plural sites or from any other sites that they provide the uh, 20, 21 hours PD. So this is the first entry certification uh, with respect to IIBA and that's where with uh, all the videos will be covered. So if you're looking for a CBAP or some other certification, probably that would not be covered here. Yeah, the concept would be same, but we are more focusing on ACP for now. Coming to the chapters within Babok guide, we got key chapters and we got knowledge areas. Okay, so in key chapters, we got four different key chapters. That is introduction, BA key concepts, competencies, techniques, and in case of knowledge areas, we got six knowledge areas. So if I if I just give you a brief about uh, introduction. So introductions, introduction concept is basically uh, we will have all the required uh, uh, things that need to be covered and introduction to Babok guide. How is Babok guide set up? Uh, what are the things uh, and how is the structure of Babok guide? These things would be covered in introduction. In BA key concepts, basically uh, the core concept called um, uh, business analysis core concept that that is covered we will cover that in the next videos we'll go with chapter to chapter and then competencies is the other chapter which uh, business analysis key skills like analytical skills analysis skills is covered and we can have a look at that chapter as well and techniques are the one which are most important through which uh, we can or a BA can perform a task uh, by using this technique so this four chapters are the key chapters for now where we are uh, we are covering that uh, but in, in, in the sense that these key chapters are very much different when respective knowledge areas because the knowledge areas are basically the core concepts or a core thing that a Babok stands for. So the Babok got, got six knowledge areas and the six knowledge areas uh, are not covered for ECBA exam. We got, we got only four chapters that are covered uh, within ECBA exam. I can show you. So let's go to the next slide. So the six knowledge areas in detail are business analysis, planning and monitoring, elicitation and collaboration, requirement life cycle management, strategy analysis, requirement analysis and design definition, and solution evaluation. If you if you look closer, you will be covering is you will be covering basically the ECBA, I mean the BA analysis, planning and monitoring, elicitation and collaboration, requirement life cycle, requirement analysis and design definition. The strategy analysis is not uh, as a part of ECBA and solution evaluation is also not a part of ECBA. So you got four chapters that need to be focusing on ECBA preparation, but we will be covering in our videos from all to have a broader concept and how does that particular thing perform. How does this work? I've already explained this thing uh, about the overview of chapter in my previous video. If you have missed that, please go and watch it. So that you'll have a little bit understanding of each of those chapters and next moving forward that what are the things that need to be uh, looked into from now in the videos so overall the six chapters will be covering first along with six chapters we will have those key chapters as well 
so in key chapters we got techniques we got introductions we got uh, competencies so these are all along the six key areas so six key areas we will be covering one by one and then we will also be introducing each uh, so if we start with chapter one then probably we'll be covering the chapter one techniques chapter one introduction and then chapter one the competencies and key skills that is required uh, each of the chapter which we are covering will have this kind of uh, task structure basically so you as a ba should need to understand one of the knowledge area and the knowledge area structured in this way and knowledge area task would would also would also be structured in this way so if you are doing a, a any task as a ba you will look for a purpose of that task and the and the babok uh, defines that particular purpose why you are doing that or what what are what are you performing on the task it also describe the detailed view of the task why we are doing the task and <clears throat> what are we performing on the task what are the inputs to the, that is what you need to have in hand before you start working on that task elements are the nothing but how you will be performing the task what are the steps you will be taking here the guidelines and tool are the added advantage that has resources that can be helped to make the task move from input to output then techniques are the methods that you will be performing uh, while 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 doing a task and the stakeholders are nothing but the key people of your organization or the project you will be involving while doing the task and the output is the work delivered basically so this can be explained in, in a broader way if you are doing a planning uh, if you are planning for for meeting a stakeholders then the purpose is what are you performing you are, you are performing a stakeholder collaboration for example the description of that is to engage with stakeholders and to build a relative uh, relations basically to collaborate with them the inputs to that is to understand the stakeholders whom you are talking with uh, have a predefined key stakeholder metrics that will show you the stakeholders uh, map uh, that means uh, who are the stakeholders that are top line and the hierarchy of the stakeholders how to work on that task so elements will give you how to approach them and how to identify all the requirements and also how to make a collaboration with them so that they have a they have a particular a trust kind of thing on you and also they are they are suitable and they are comfortable to share the actual requirement and get get to know that okay this is a this is what we are working on coming to guidelines and tools there are something that we can there are some already predefined techniques we can use like stakeholder map is the one technique or guideline you can use to perform that particular task also uh, technique in the case of you can use uh, you can use brainstorming uh, or, or uh, as well you can conduct an interview um, and you can do a survey anywhere you can perform that particular task so these are the techniques how you would how you gonna methods you can uh, use to perform that task and some of the guidelines is like you can use this particular stakeholder uh, map to understand the hierarchy so stakeholders after using the stakeholder map you will able to identify the stakeholders who are my top stakeholders and then probably you can uh, sit and uh, and make a decisions with them so once you do that then if everything goes as per your expectations then you got that particular task to plan and meet stakeholder done so we will be going each and every task of a business analyst in this hierarchy from purpose till output and the same hierarchy is also uh, is actually derived and actually explained in babok very clearly so i'll be explaining that in a in a real time example and how does actually it works with respect to each and every task so i guess that's all uh, for now uh, i guess you have got some idea about what we're going to looking at from next videos we will i'm starting at the six knowledge areas starting with first and getting that structure done with respect to each of the task of a ba and identify why are we doing what are we doing and what we will be getting up to doing that and that who will be involving in that what are the methods we can use and after using the methods what things can be implemented and once time once the things are implemented what are we achieving out of it are we achieving what we are expecting or not 
so these things will be covered in upcoming videos so please stay tuned like the video share the video and if you are preparing for ecba certifications please follow me on linkedin same with same name rupam mudala i'll be very much helpful to uh, give you time and uh, explain you things more in detail and also get to learn more from you so thank you stay connected goodbye